So are you trying to figure out what the best schools in the area are? Well, you're in the right spot. Stay tuned because I'll share with you the three steps you need to go through to make sure your kids are going to the right school. Hey guys, Donovan Arnold here with Keller Williams Realty and I am a local real estate agent here in Gainesville, Florida. I put out these weekly videos to share with you exactly what you can expect if you're moving to the area and what it's like to live in Gainesville. So we talk about the best schools, best places to live, all the best restaurants. And if you don't want to miss a thing, make sure you start by clicking the subscribe button and also click the little bell so you get notified anytime I put out a new video. So as a parent myself, I completely understand how difficult and stressful it can be to figure out where your kids are going to be going to school are those schools any good are the teachers any good what are the other kids there like so I wanted to give you three tips to help navigate that process and educate you on what the schools in Gainesville are like and what you can expect if your kid is going to a specific school and stay tuned to the very end because I'll share with you the hundred percent scholarship that you definitely want to know about so tip number one is going to be just doing the research you can check out all the school grades on sbac.edu and honestly just go back look at the trending grades over the last five years is the school headed in a positive direction are they consistently an A or B school or are they declining over the last few years and that is one of the first indicators it's not the only factor you need but that's a great starting point to learn a little bit more about a school and what direction they're headed in addition to that you can go to www greatschools.org. Now again, this is just going to be another resource that compiles a lot of different data and will generate a score for the school. When you first go to the website, there's going to be one green or yellow or red score at the top corner, but don't just look at that one score. Scroll down and look at some of the different grading tools and indicators at each level for that specific school to make sure you get a good vibe and a good feeling and understanding of what that school's like. In addition, on greatschools.org, they do offer reviews. So you can go on and read some different reviews from students, teachers, parents, and again, just collect some more information on that specific school. Another way to get some reviews and see what people have to say is go on Google Map and just look at the school. That's another option for people to go on and put reviews about the specific school. Now, all of these reviews you're gonna to wanna to take with a grain of salt because it could just be an upset student that got in trouble that's gonna go say a lot of bad stuff about a school. But the more information that you can take in, the better picture and the better understanding you're gonna get if this is gonna be a good school for you and your, your kids. In addition to that, you can go on the school's website, look up the PTA, look up some of the different PTA members, and lots of times there's email addresses for those PTA members. Reach out to them directly and ask them questions, get their feedback, see what they think about the school. They're obviously highly involved and invested in the school, and so just get some honest feedback and what they have to say about it. Another option to get some real life feedback is gonna be going over to Facebook and looking for private groups that are around the school or the school board system. Lots of times, if you just go on to some of the different groups and do different searches through Facebook, you'll find a lot of additional information. And then again, lots of times, you can click that individual person who may have comments about the school, positive or negative, and reach out to them directly and get some additional information. Because again, you don't wanna just take what one person has to say about a school. You wanna collect enough information so you really can tell where the school's headed and get a good feel for what this school is like. So the next step is gonna to be to actually go out and verify the zoning for a specific home or apartment, wherever it may be in the specific school. There are a lot of third party websites out there and most of the time the information is right, but you don't wanna go under contract on a new house or sign a lease and then find out the school you thought the property was zoned for is incorrect, it's actually a different school. So reach out to the Lacho County School Board directly and give them the exact address of the apartment or the house that you're looking at and make sure that it is zoned for the school you think it is. So the third and oftentimes most telling tip is gonna be to actually go to the school and do a tour. Now, before doing this video, I actually reached out to some of the schools to ask, hey, could I come by and do a tour? We're thinking about moving and we'd be zoned for the school. Is it okay? Could I meet and talk to someone? Some of the schools said yes, some of them said no. Buholtz High School said, no, we don't do that. Once a year, the kids can come in if they're in eighth grade and get a feel for the school, but we don't give private tours. 
I called Talbot Elementary. They said, yes, we do that, but they only do it twice a month when the assistant principal is available. So really it just depends on a case by case scenario, but you can, at least for the high schools, after school hours, they said you can come onto the campus and walk around and get a feel for it that way. But I would reach out to the school specifically that you would be zoned for and ask, can you set up a tour, a meeting with a guidance counselor or the principal, assistant principal, someone on campus to just take a look around, get a feel for what the campus is like and see who you can talk to while you're there to get additional information. So unfortunately, there's not just one set list that says, hey, this is the absolute best elementary school, best middle school, best high school, only go to these schools because it's not a one size fits all. You know, we've got three boys at the elementary school level and we've had three different experiences each year. One year we get a great teacher, everything goes smoothly. The next year, maybe not so smoothly. And they're all at quote, good schools, but it really is a year by year, case by case basis. But following these three steps, will give you the best chance at finding a school that you're comfortable with and the school that your kid is really gonna excel in. Okay, so you've made it this far, you deserve it. Check out the link in the description for Bright Future Scholarship. It's an in-state scholarship that will provide up to 100% tuition for in-state schools, and there's also a 75% tier option. So look at those details, get familiar with it, see the link in the description. But what you're gonna wanna do next is go ahead and watch this video where my wife and I share a little bit more details about what it's like raising a family here in Gainesville, Florida.